Hello guys, today we are going to talk about how you can use Google Cloud Platform for all your machine learning tasks. Uh, I will assume you know how to get to this place because it is very easy. You can just sign in. Uh, and now we move forward. Uh, open Compute Engine in a new tab. And in this tab you should open the firewall rules. We are going to create one new rule and we can name it anything here. Set the target to all instances. Set the IP to this thing exactly. And allow a new TCP port. You can set it to anything. Go ahead and create this new rule. Uh, now we are going to create a new instance. This is the actual machine, the server that we will work on. Uh, you can name it anything here. Set the zone to US East 1C because this zone has the GPUs. Uh, you can choose any number of CPUs you like here and the cost will increase proportionately. Uh, this is not the actual cost because if you use the machine 24 7 for the entire month then you will incur this cost in real life situations the cost will be much lower uh, we're choosing only one CPU for now next we need to choose the image you can choose anything but we already have a ready-made image for TensorFlow. It has TensorFlow GPU, Keras, NumPy, Pandas, everything installed in here. So no worries on our side. For the disk options, we have SSD, but uh, take it if you like. It does not. It is not necessary right now. Set the size to a good amount right now. I'm choosing 200 GB here. Uh, it is cheap so you do not need to worry select it allow both of these so the current cost is $32 per month next we need to enable preemptibility first you need to absorb the cost it is almost half of what is what what it was originally so there are no uh, downsides to preemptibility except that on rare occasions your machine will shut down and you will have to restart it apart from that uh, there are no problems so if you are okay with it and you want the cost to go down please choose that So the instance is up and running. We need to do one more step before starting with our actual Jupyter notebook. Okay, this is the virtual machine and the IP address type is ephemeral by default. So please, please select static here. Give it any name. you can close this tab now we have completed the entire setup process now and from here on these are the steps you will follow every time you come back here so please observe carefully uh, since the machine is already running if it's not you you just need to start it from here and after it is running please click the SSH button this will open up a terminal it may just take one or two minutes so please keep patience now that the terminal is uh, open you can enter this code I will provide this code in the description below this video after you get this you can select the IP address of your machine 
go to a new tab paste it after the IP address you need to type the port number which we allow through the firewall press enter it will ask for a password or token you can get the token from here paste it and you are good to go this is now the Jupyter environment you are familiar with you can start with a new notebook okay you know the process from here uh, after that please remember to stop your machine after all you complete all your tasks because as long as the machine runs you will be charged after the machine is shut down you can edit the number of cores and RAM uh, this is a great help because you can do all your coding work using one core and when you need all the power you can crank it up to 16 or 32 cores and get all the power you want you cannot use the GPU yet I will show you that in another video that's it guys I will make another video on why you should use Google Cloud Platform over other services like AWS, Paperspace or uh, IBM Power AI so please stay subscribed and leave a comment below on what you want to see in the future videos